All right, so this is part six. If you haven't seen the first five videos, please go back and do so. I had a question, an email from a viewer, thank you very much. And she asked, besides supplements, foods. What are the natural foods that will decrease estrogen levels naturally? Great question. All right, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for turning in. If you haven't done so already, please do three things. Punch the like button, punch the subscribe button, and also to leave a comment. I'm always reading the comments. And even if you don't like the video, please leave a comment why. Because a lot of people, when we do videos, we're always wondering who does the thumb down? Unless it's a really bad video, which I hope this is not. <laughs> So please leave a comment and I always read them. Hello, this is Dr. Juwan. So I'm continuing the series on the metabolism of estrogen and I don't know actually when it's going to stop. So this is number six. Now the question is that I got is what foods will naturally decrease estrogen dominance? Because when it comes to foods, yes, estrogen foods play a big part in how much estrogen we have in our system because right now you have GMO foods, you have pesticides, insecticides, you have supersized meat, and all those foods, remember, carbohydrates and sugars are the two main foods that will elevate your, test, your, I'm sorry, your estrogen levels, which will make you estrogen dominant. And that's a big thing, okay? because there's other causes for estrogen dominance besides food. One, poor liver function. You know that the liver, is meta, meta, uh, the liver detoxes, the estrogen to have the metabolites. Insulin resistance, yes, insulin resistance. The more insulin is released, the more you're gonna store the fat and increase the estrogen. Birth control pills, environmental pollutants, age, as we get older, what happens? Just to the normal mechanism, you're gonna be estrogen dominance. Obesity comes with insulin resistance, stress. Stress, cortical, so, glucocorticoid increases insulin, which causes the body to store fat. Poor diet, the standard American diet, alcohol. These are just a few that will that the causation of estrogen dominance. Now, estrogen, the function of estrogen, if you see the previous videos, just to review, estrogen is good, okay, like everything else. Too much of it is a bad thing, so everything in moderation, so females, Yes, estrogen is good. It's good for cognitive health. It's good for bone health, cardiovascular health. Where is it made? The primary years, the most of the estrogen is made in the ovaries. And then later years, in addition to the, to the primary years, the adrenal glands and also too fatty tissue. So the more fatty tissue you have in your system, now this is guys too, you're gonna to produce more estrogen. So for males, you're not off the hook. Males, it's more like a teeter-totter effect. So 80% testosterone, 20% estrogen. So when males have more fatty tissue, man boobs, okay, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have more estrogen, which is gonna decrease your testosterone levels. One of the things that I always recommend, exercise regularly, guys and girls, because when you exercise regularly, you're gonna increase gut motility, you're gonna increase the detoxif detoxification of the liver pathways. What it's gonna do is gonna decrease your over over amount of estrogen levels. Pooping regularly. Now this is the main thing, poop regularly. Have two bowel movements a day, sometimes three. Not a lot, I mean you don't wanna be pooping 10 times a day, but sometimes when I talk to the females, they're not pooping regularly. Now the problem is, when you don't poop regularly, okay, you flush out the excess estrogen when you, go, when you take a poop. Estrogen has a direct connection to GI motility because what happens if you are not pooping regularly and you have a poor digestive function, what's going to happen? You're going to have estrogen dominance because the constipation causes estrogen dominance. So this is always important for females to poop regularly. Exercise will help you poop. Now, <clears throat> foods, there's a lot of foods to focus on, but this is just a handful that I always recommend. It's an easy handful. And let's start with cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables, vegetables, you're talking about broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts, 
Phenomenal for the system. Nobody gets, nobody got fat off eating too many vegetables. And why are cruciferous vegetables so important? Dim and chlorophyll. Those are two powerful liver detoxifiers. Now I've done previous videos and I'll put the link down below the benefits of DIM for females and males. They, get the, they also contain the plant sterols, which again will lower the estrogen levels. Carrots, yes, carrots are phenomenal. Carrots are a great filler. If you need something to eat, it prevents the reabsorption of estrogen in the intestines. Why? Because it helps the liver detoxify the estrogen from the body, plus also too, Carrots are what? High in fiber. Remember, anytime you're, anytime you're pooping, you're getting rid of the excess estrogen. Oats. Now, when it comes to oats, I always recommend organic oats. Always read the label, because the more healthier the oats are, the better off you're gonna be. Because why, in addition to oats, well, high fiber foods. High fiber foods, what it does, again, it blocks the body from absorbing too much estrogen. Remember, you need to poop. So in addition to it, it helps boost the immune system. Why? Because we have, we have different cells of our immune system. The, the first responders are called the natural killer cells, natural killer T cells. And they help kill unwanted just pathogens, invaders, tumor cells. So, the, so basically, the immune system really starts off where? In the gut. So if you have a poor gut function, what's going to happen to your immune system? It's going to lower. Mushrooms. Shiitake, portobello, they block what's called aromatase. We have an enzyme, aromatase, that converts the excess estrogen, I'm sorry, it, it converts the androgen, sorry, to estrogen. In addition to, mushrooms are phenomenal. They're phenomenal in nutrients with uh, vitamins, minerals, good for the liver. Green tea, green tea is loaded with what's called uh, polyphenols. The polyphenols, they, what they do, they affect the enzymes in the body that metabolize the estrogens. In particular, green tea is a natural stimulant. It's a natural detoxifier. It's a natural antioxidant. It's good to help clean up the liver pathway. Citrus foods. Citrus, food, citrus foods in moderation. I always say, again, with citrus fruits, vegetables are one thing. You can never get fat off vegetables. Fruits, remember, they're nature's candy. So yes, you can get fat off eating too much fruit. So citrus fruits, they're rich in antioxidants, flavonoids, anti-estrogenic compounds, in particular calcium D-gluconate and quercetin. So this is a handful that I just recommend for people just again, start you off to eat correctly because the main thing you want to do is take care of your liver and digestive health. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Be good.